Hey YouTube, Chicken Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Red Buster from Tokame Sentai Go Busters, the currently running Sentai series that I love to death and back. A lot of people don't, but I do, so that's how it rolls. Um, so anyway, a pretty neat box here. We've got the whole visor gimmick that Go Busters uses with the lettering of shininess and Photoshop filters and all of that. Fun stuff. Buster's ready to go. It's morphin time. Weapon action. Yeah. So pretty cool figure. While Boken Red was a figure that I thought the sculpt was absolutely horrid on it, the accessories were awesome. Red Buster is a sculpt that I love with accessories that aren't as awesome. Uh, but uh, where the figure does shine is the sculpt, and I think it does a really good job at it. Uh... The fact that the Go Busters are a Sentai series that doesn't use the traditional spandex, they use the leather jacket style of things, makes the figure out a little bit interesting because it needed to properly reflect that. And it does a great job at that. It reminds me a lot of the build of Ichigo and Nigo, since their outfits were less of the traditional rider armor, and more of, or rather, the new rider armor, and more of the traditional... Uh, kind of rider, just like jacket sort of thing with chest fluffiness for armor and stuff. So it reminds me a lot of that. You've got the folds in the jacket uh, right up here on the breasts and down here at the waist. You've got a little bit of a bunched area right here. So it actually does look like a outfit instead of uh, the straight up spandex or like an armor or anything like that. It does a great job at actually looking like a costume. Yeah, you do have the segmented pieces right here because of the waist movement and the ab movement. So, yeah, it kind of ruins the effect there, but it's an action figure, so what are you going to get, really? Obviously, the glaring flaw with the figure is that it falls over. No, uh, that the uh, joints are colored black. I'm not entirely sure why they went about this. The only thing I can think of is that because of the knee joints being black down here because of the uh, pants, that they were forced into doing the uh, elbow joints black as well, since I'm pretty sure they run off the same uh, creator in the factory. So that's the only thing I can think of, because things like Boken Red and Deca Red have red joints on both areas. So they had a choice between doing color specific or mass black. And I'm pretty sure they just went with the mass black because not only could they use that for all of the Go Busters, they could use it for both the knee and the elbow and get away with it. I don't think it necessarily looks bad. Um, for figure arts, it's kind of a glaring issue because figure arts are a high standard of figure. Um, but I buy a lot of American toy lines, so I'm used to weirdly colored joints. Uh, so it doesn't really bother me all that much. Uh, and I just kind of write it off as being like elbow pads or something. It's a completely horrible excuse. But uh, in certain poses, it's hard to directly notice them anyway. So it's not that huge of a deal, but if it bothers you, then it really will knock um, this figure down a few pegs. Um, in terms of everything else, the helmet is really well done. Um, I would have preferred it to be a little bit more glossy. Uh, as it stands, it's slightly metallic. It just doesn't really reflect the light as much as I think it should, given how reflective the visors are in the actual show. But uh, sculpt-wise, it looks absolutely great, and I do love it. I think it's a great size to a couple of the... Helmets end up being a little bit more lanky. Some of them end up being a little wide. I think they do a pretty good job on this one. Uh, the trans pod is right there. Um, completely etched in. Camera's having a little bit of a hard time focusing. There we go. So you can see the Go Busters, the GB logo right there on the trans pod. As well as the speaker little poles. So that's cool. Same thing down here on the belt with the Go Busters logo bag here. Nothing too much except for some of the suit details because that's just how they are. There isn't anything fancy back there. Um, you have a rotation right here at the thigh. Pretty typical joint system. It is working off of the plastic ball joint so that's a little bit of a bummer. I wish it had Boken Red's uh, 
style of ankles. But uh, other than that, just the typical figure arts articulation, and I think it actually uh, is a really great figure. It's a little bit too thin, I think, um, but it's actually one of the more aesthetically pleasing looking Sentai releases, I think. Uh, the shoulders are in the same kind of system that Boken Red used, except I think they do a better job of everything because of the way his upper chest is done, particularly with these straps. It hides the shoulder joint very well, and it does look a lot more flush, whereas Boken Red's just kind of sticked out like a sore thumb. It does a lot better job of being a little bit more fleshed out. So that's always good. Now, in terms of accessories comes with not much and it really is a shame he comes with uh, Sogon blade holding hands Ichigan buster holding hands and then relaxed hands so of course he obviously comes with the Sogon blade uh, pretty thick it's not really all that pliable uh, painted very well in fact it's actually painted incredibly well everything is there that should be Though I think there is a little bit of yellow on this somewhere that's not here. I just don't remember where it is. But That's cool. The Ichigan Buster right here. Also very cool. I love the weapon motifs for Go Busters. And then the combined mode, the uh, Ichigan Buster Special Buster version or mode or whatever it's called. Uh, so you got that. That's, you got that as well. You got this as well. So you've got all three of the weapons that he would use, since there are no signature weapons for our Go Busters. Uh, that's it. No, no Tamashi stage, no transpod that's off of the holder. Not that they ever really use those, um, whether in that mode they just tap it. Uh, so you've got a lot of things that it, it could have came with, it just didn't. Um... Yeah, I don't really know what else it could have came with besides that, except for the obvious Sogon Blade and the binoculars would have been nice, the Ichigan Buster and the camera mode would have been nice, um, maybe a folded up Sogon uh, Blade to pose him as if he was combining the two instead of having it combined already, things like that. When you consider this is the same price as Boken Red, and Boken Red came with so many accessories, uh, that it kind of makes this figure look a little bit not worth his price. Uh, considering it was the same price when it comes with three weapons and six hands. As opposed to like nine hands, four more hands for Occupant Rangers. The Boken Scooper, the Boken Lance, the Boken... Yeah, Lance, Bow, Servi Guns, and everything. Whereas this one just comes with stuff. So that that's a little bit of a bummer, I think. So Red Buster, despite not coming with a lot, is actually a very impressive figure. Um, I think his proportions are pretty much spot on. Uh, a little bit thin, but not enough to really complain about it since the suit actor's thinness kind of ranges depending on who it is. And they wanted to keep a fairly consistent mold. Uh, the paint applications are perfect. Like I said, I wish the visor was a tiny bit more glossy than it is. But uh, again, just a mer very minor nitpick. Obviously, the biggest nitpick is the elbows being black. If that really bothers you, then save yourself the aneurysm and avoid the figure. But if you can look past that, then by all means, pick up this figure. Another thing I noticed while working with the figure during this review is the fact that the hands are actually incredibly difficult to switch out. I don't know if that's just the case with mine, but I have noticed that figure arts lately have been having very tight joints right there um, in terms of the ball and socket not being appropriate sizes. So your mileage may vary with that, but it's just something I really felt like pointing out. If you're a fan of Go Busters, then by all means pick it up. It is a little bit disappointing that this is the only retail release we're currently going to get. I wouldn't be too surprised if Power Custom of Red Buster is a retail release as well, and possibly Beat Buster. But um, as it stands right now, this is our only retail release Go Busters figure art. Uh, Blue Buster uh, is available separately through Tomashi Web Exclusive. Yellow Buster is in a set with Usada Lettuce as a Tomashi Web Exclusive, and then Nick and Gorosaki are also... Um, Tomashi Web exclusives. So that is incredibly disappointing that you're going to have to go the exclusive route to get a full team of Go Busters, unlike the Go Kaijers, which had a full set of the four males. 
um, appropriately released at retail. So that's a huge bummer that we're not going to be able to get that, especially considering it's only a three-person team if you don't count Beat and Stack Buster. So, yeah, that's pretty much a bummer. So overall, an absolutely great figure that I do recommend despite the low accessory count. Obviously, some flaws, but if it's something you can look past, I do recommend picking up the figure, especially if you can find it at a discount. A lot of the Senta figure arts actually go on a discount pretty quickly because they just don't sell as well as the Rider figure arts do. Plus, figure arts in general are just becoming really easy to get a hold of as they're producing more and more of them as of late. So, that's always a, a good thing. If you can get this guy for about 2,000 yen or so, definitely pick it up as I think it is a really good figure. I'm looking forward to seeing how Beat and Stag Buster turn out, plus the Powered Customs. Um, I think that will look really cool in a figure art form. So be sure to check out ShukinShinobi.com for latest updates on my reviews and hauls, and of course check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com, the podcast bringing the latest Tokyo news in the craziest way possible. And of course you can pick up this guy and more in the SH Figure Arts line at CSToysJapan.com, bringing the latest Tokyo merchandise. So take care and have a great one. Bye!